This video is an introduction to just using Google Classroom, probably mostly for people who are using it for the first time. I'm going to show how to create a class as a teacher, how to add your students, and just give you a quick tour of what Google Classroom can do. So from google.com, when you're logged into your Pattonville Google account, you can click on your waffle in the upper right hand corner to go to all your Google apps and classroom should be somewhere in these. Um, you can scroll down further. You might see it down further if it's not um, in the first few that you see. Um, it just says classroom. It looks like a little chalkboard icon. Um, the other thing that you can do instead of clicking on classroom is just type in classroom.google.com and that will take you there as well. So that's how you sign in. That's also how students will sign in. When you get to the classroom, um, you'll see a plus sign. This main dashboard just shows you all of your classes. Uh, you click on the plus sign to create a class. Now what happens when it creates a class? It's gonna ask you to name the class. I'll be honest, whenever you name classes, it's best if you be really specific. because um, it starts to matter later. So I put the most specific information about the class name first and then the general information last. So it could be like the year, the semester, and the course name or however you wanna name it. You can say which section it is. Um, you can put like first hour or one or something like that. Give it a subject. Um, you can give it a room if you want, but you don't have to, okay? So you hit create and it'll create the classroom. Just so you know, when it creates the class, it is also creating a calendar in your Google Calendar that's associated with the class, and it is also creating a folder that is in your Google Drive associated with the class. So it's doing kind of all of that in the background. You can select a theme to change what this looks like. So mine gave me a volleyball theme, but obviously that doesn't really fit my subject area, so you can just change the picture. And you can also upload a photo if you want. Notice that you're given a class code. Um, this class code is the thing that students would need to join your classroom. So when the students go to classroom.google.com, press the plus button, they need a code to enter. And so that code can also be regenerated or changed if you need it to be. Um, but that is the class code of how students would join. Okay, when you first open up the classroom, um, you'll see at the top you have um, Let's just start on the left. The hamburger menu on the left shows you all of your classes, your calendar, and your settings. I highly advise any of these applications you may be using that you check the settings. It'll show your class name, your stream. The stream is where you can make announcements to your class um, and respond to student. If students are allowed to post, then you can respond to them here. If you click on classwork, this is where you can actually organize all of um, your assignments and materials and things that you create for students to do in nice, neat topics or units or however you want to do it. Um, to create an assignment, you just tap on create and you can see that you have the option to do an assignment, which means that students would ultimately be turning something in that might be graded or given feedback on. You may have a quiz assignment. Um, you may have a question that you ask them. Um, a question could be a one short answer question and students could respond to one another. That's a setting you can choose. Um, so you could use it as a way to do a class discussion around one question. You could add a question that's also a multiple choice. It's just a check, a quick check-in or a poll. Material is where you would add something that you just want your students to have, but it's not really an assignment. So this would be a good place to put resources, links, a link to maybe a, a folder that you have in your Google Drive, a link to the online textbook, things like that. You can reuse posts that you've used in other classes as well, and you can create a topic. So some teachers, when they create a topic, will actually do like unit one, and they'll have like the topic name, or uh, they may say this week. Or you could even, if you wanna just put the dates, uh, depending on how you're using your class. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So if I were creating something uh, for this week, I might put March 18 through March 20. 
or whatever it might be, right? So I'm just going to click add. It'll put the topic in there and then you can create assignments and material within that. And you can reorder and do all those types of things. I'm going to do another video that gets into more detail on the types of things you can create. Um, if you do add your students, you'll be able to see them in the people tab. You can also add other teachers. And then at the grades tab, this is where you would see anything that you've been giving students feedback on or student grades and that sort of thing. Your settings give you information about the class. So um, if you did need to change something in here, you could. So for example, with the stream, the default is that students can also post and comment to one another. But if you wanted, you could change that too. Students can only comment or only teachers can post or comment. Um, you can also, on classwork, on the stream, you can say how you want that to show. By the way, when you do create something in your um, classwork, when you make something new or you publish it, it goes into the stream as an announcement and students will get a notification. So if you add a whole bunch of things, save them as drafts until you're ready for students to have them or schedule things to post. If you post things all in one day that maybe span a two or three week period, students are going to get all of those notifications at once. So the stream is where all course notifications and all teacher announcements go. That's your quick tour of Google Classroom. More to come.